Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. <laughs> Glam Good. And you can see, done my moisturizer, got my face on. It's time for the fun stuff. Glam Goat, what's the fun stuff? <laughs> shadow. Oh yeah, eyeshadow. All the rest of this, you know. I love that I can make all those red spots and dry spots and scaly things kind of disappear and <clears throat> make it so I don't look quite my age. But the fun thing is the eyeshadow. <laughs> Glam goat. <laughs> oh, you sit over there, Glammy. Okay, so... I'm going to use some Old Faithfuls today because it's no buy July and Sue did not buy nothing. Mm -mm. No, I didn't. Not a thing. I mean, I got my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm, but I did not buy any makeup this month. I have been so good. And there's what, two more days? And next month I've got to do skincare, so it's going to leave me like no money to do anything else. Because y'all know skincare, the price of skincare will kill you. But you got to have it. You know, I mean, if you don't do skincare, there's no sense in doing makeup because you won't have any skin to put your makeup on. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. Lost it. <laughs> Glam go, you're killing me, dude. Um, we're gonna go with, you know, pan project. I need a pan on a lot of these. Um kinda got inspired by other YouTubers to, you know, do this. This is the buff collection from Pure Cosmetics, P U R. I've actually never seen any of their other products, but this did come in a boxy charm a very long time ago, like before I even got boxy charm. I purchased it from a boxy charm subscriber. Um, I've had it almost two years now, so it kind of tells me that it takes me two years to like really use up a palette, and I have like. 15 palettes, so I need to slack off on the palette buying. <gasps> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so uh, I already used my primer, is the Pure Cosmetics, P U R, um, Get a Grip uh, Eye Primer. And I'm going to go in with, I've only got like four that I've not hit pan with. I'm going to go with this and then the lighter one. Um, I guess this one will be like sort of my transition shade. And they're getting close. Um, okay, am I where you can even see me? I'm just going to kind of go in the crease. But because I have hooded eyes, which means that my crease basically folds over onto my eyelid when I open my eye. <clears throat> I'm going to go more above the crease because with the hoods, the hooded lids, um, if I, if I put the brow or the upper eye color on the crease, my lid will disappear. So I use my lid color in the crease, and that way, even if the crease folds over onto the lid, you know, what's on the fold is basically the same color as what's on the lid, so you still get to see the pretty stuff. Not that the stuff that goes above the lid isn't pretty, but, you know, it's... I don't know, I feel like, I feel like what's between the lid and the brow is more of a, like an accent to the color that's on your lid, which is usually a little more bold. Um, 
speaking of bold, <clears throat> do you guys get boxy charm? And if you do, have you seen the sneak peeks? Wow, huh? Um, I don't, you know, I can live without the blues and purples. I'm into, you know, who knows, though. So next year I could just. I, I change all the time. I change. I just, you know, kind of change what I'm doing with my makeup on the spur of the moment. Um, but yeah, the the greens and the blues and the purples, like real purples, I could live without um, at this time. But you know, the um, I I'm really excited to get a Laura Lee product. I followed her a lot um, in the beginning. I'm going to go with this real light color now. Uh, kind of go right under the brown and sort of blend it also with the other color. Um, but I feel like... I mean, I do feel like she's a little bratty. <laughs> but... Um, I do feel like, you know, and, it, and it's, it's hard to tell on YouTube what someone's true personality is like, but I, I think that especially for her first few products and for her having come out with so many products um, recently, and I know, I'm pretty sure she's planning on getting into like some lipsticks and things too. Um, I'm thinking that her products should be pretty good quality. So I'm real excited about getting a palette from her. And I really, I think that this is the right thing to do. Um, I mean, she might be losing money by doing BoxyCharm. But the more people that she can get that product in their hands and they see that it is a quality product. Um, I'm going to go with this one with little sparklies in it, which is like crazy because there's not enough sparklies in there to actually do anything, but let's, let's try it. Anyways. Just on that outside triangle. Um, but yeah, I think the more people that she can get that her, her product in their hands and even if they don't like the colors, because they are pretty bold, I gotta, I gotta say, it's, it's a pretty darn bold, uh, eye palette, um, but, you know, you can still appreciate the quality, you know, I mean, I'm sure even the people that aren't going to use the palette or are going to give it away or sell it are going to swatch it and at least see what it feels like you know it's true swatches aren't true to what goes on your eye but that doesn't mean you can't tell I mean you can't tell a lot from a swatch on a video but you can tell a lot from a swatch on your own arm is it creamy is it dry how hard did you have to press down did it just go on gently I mean you know you, you can compare um, on your own arm and and get some some good ideas on what kind of quality it is. Even if you don't like the color, you know, you can still kind of get an opinion of the formula. And you know, you can always swatch with a brush. Everybody goes for the finger, and uh, when it comes right down to it, you you know, you can't, I, I think you go for the finger because it's just easier to wipe the finger off and go in again. Um, but yeah, you can always use a brush to swatch, and that'll be a little bit more true. Well, I think this is coming, you know... pan project thing was a really good idea. I don't know who thought of this to begin with, but kudos to them because I think there's a hundred thousand different reasons they have a pan project. 
<clears throat> and um, mine was basically because I just did, didn't want to use up two or three colors and have two or three colors that weren't even touched. But um, it's really forcing me to do things and use shades that I would not have used and not use my favorites that I hit pan with. And I really... I think I'm going to use that sparkly color again, which, like I said before, is like, why? Because, I mean, I don't know if you can even see the sparkles, but there's not even enough sparkles in there to really... It looks great in the pan, but... Oh, I'm just going to come under the eye, just the outer edge under the eye. Can you see that? Is that kind of the outer edge? I need to speed up here a little bit because I've been taking my time with these videos and I've been ending up with videos that break down into two and then I can't upload it because the I don't know I'm hoping when I get an actual laptop that I won't have this problem but um with the phone anything over 30 minutes breaks down into two videos and then I can't upload it because it's the YouTube my channel will only upload one video so you would get like like part of the video and then the next part would be a whole different video so yeah that made a ton of sense huh yay okay that you know I'm telling you the pan project is because these colors on the end are like almost unused. I, I never even, you know, I, I went for these other ones, the really pinky ones first. And the thing is, forcing me to use them because I'm like, okay, I am. I'm going to hit pan. No, I'm going, I'm going to do it. It's a mission. I'm going to hit pan with these other ones. So I went out on YouTube land and looked for, you know, what is other people with my skin coloration? How are they using, you know, these colors? And got some ideas and, you know, so it kind of forced me out of my box a little bit. And I tell you, I think I like it. Okay, now we get to do the really fun stuff. It's time for another cough drop. I'm addicted to cough drops. I know, it's ridiculous. Um, I quit smoking back in February. It's now July. <clears throat> and I have to do something. You know, I have that I need to put something in my mouth and to unwrap something. Um, I finally gotten over the whole having to put something out. Um, that was... I mean, there, there's a lot of things that go with this addiction that have nothing to do with the actual nicotine. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. Okay, um, another oldie, but a favorite. Um, this was my very first palette, and yeah, you would think I'd be hitting pan on this, but... You know, it's all neutrals, pretty much. There's nothing loud and obnoxious in there, which is why I didn't. But, um, again, I think this is going to be, once I hit pan in this other one, on all of them, this will probably be my next project. And the more I go back to this palette, the more I remember why I liked it so much, because it is. It is a good little palette. Um... Alright, I've been doing some silliness with this, and I'm going to stop that for today. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go with this brown right here. Okay, right here. Yeah, that help. Um, you know, it's got... I'm going to go on the like the outer part. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm actually losing the light, so 
or the light is moving because I'm using daylight. So I'm just going like on the outer part of the lid and then I'm going to go on the inner part of the lid. And this, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe is referred to as the halo. Um, you know, the, the thing with the pinks and the purples is finding colors that actually go with it. Okay, now I'm going to go in that crease because, you know, that whole hooded thing that I have going on, the hooded thing is, is mostly about the crease. It's where the crease just doesn't, it's not elastic anymore and it just creates a fold that covers your eyelid when your eyes are open. So, I'm going to use this to kind of go into the crease, and then I'm going to blend with that color that I went above the crease. So, we're going to have kind of a brown and rose, purpley, with a sparkle or two kind of a thing going on there. And I'm going to go, you know, all the way up with that, but as we get into the lighter shade, it will blend lighter so um but it will look like really way way more blended out okay and on the other side what the heck was i talking about I'm losing track of my own self now i do i really this little palette is probably what got me excited about makeup to begin with um I had a Facebook friend that was getting BoxyCharm, and she got this palette, and she was just overjoyed with it, and did swatches, and did looks with it, and, you know, I was like, that is a cool palette, you know, I love those, how, you know, the looks that you're doing with it, and I, at that time, I had a couple of, like, singles, I didn't have any palettes. Um, I think the best thing that I had was a really shocking pink um, called Woodstock that's by Urban Decay. Um, and that was like my pride and joy, you know, <laughs> my one single. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I, I just wasn't sure about the whole palette thing that I wanted to go out. And, uh, spend that kind of money on, you know, because I did look it up at Tarte, and I think that this was, I think it was like $38. I could be totally mistaken, but, you know, it wasn't cheap, okay? It was, you know, and when you are just getting into makeup, and you're not, you know, you're trying to live paycheck to paycheck, 40 bucks is 40 bucks, you know, that's, ooh, baby, so yeah, I, um, I'm not sure about that at all, so, you know, I said to my friend, wow, that's really cool, you know, I wish I had one, you know, whatever, and she says to me, look, she sent me a PM, you know, personal message on, uh, Facebook, that there are some Facebook groups where you can go and buy this stuff from people that have received it that, you know, for whatever reason, they don't want it. And I'm thinking, like, why would anyone not want this? Are you kidding me? Well, you know, I can see where, because let's face it, I've had this for almost two years, and it's not hit pan yet um this is that gold by the way it's just ugh, like, what really draws you to the whole palette is that gold but um you know i can see where if you already had a lot of neutral palettes and you like neutrals or if you already had like a ton of eyeshadow and 
you know, you just didn't need any more eyeshadow. Where, you know, you might not want this. And, you know, the BoxyCharm costs like $21. I'm going to try to go all the way into the crease with this. It's not always easy, but... This, you know, and it still, it still feels, even though it's like almost two years old, it feels very, look at that, is that beautiful? Can you see how golden that is? But it feels very, um, creamy and, you know, it doesn't feel old and dry. It, it has a nice, just, you know, it's not crusty. There's no odor, um, and I keep these. I don't know if that helps or not, but I'm an idiot about, I don't know, I just like to, and I know that's mostly to keep your mirror clean, you know, keep your shadows from getting all over your mirror, but I'm sorry, I, yeah. Yeah! So, I'm thinking, well, you know, maybe probably going over my time here and if I go over my time you guys won't even ever see this video because I will have gone over my time all right let's find one to do our little inner corner highlight let's just go with this really light one right here um but I do I'm a sucker for a palette with a mirror I like having a mirror um You know, I think that these colors, I don't know, you know, my cataracts are killing me and I'm getting really blind these days, but even without mascara, I think that is beautiful. Yeah, baby. Um, get in there. Stroke of Wow. Butter London, another BoxyCharm product. Yes, I have a lot of BoxyCharm products. Um, BoxyCharm allows me to have some nice stuff without spending, you know, I mean, this mascara, if you went out and bought it, costs more than the whole BoxyCharm. You know, seriously. Um, but yeah, that little palette, um, I went to the, the group, which, um, I found some other groups now that are better. That group actually doesn't exist anymore. The administrator, like, abandoned it or something, and it just kind of fizzled out. Um, <clears throat> BoxyCharm Beauties is the best group if you want to buy any of the items that either you did not get or maybe you have items that you don't want and you want to sell them um that's definitely the best group it's well monitored the administrators do not put up with any crap um you know if somebody gets ripped off there their name is going to be all over facebook i'll tell you that right now and you know, they'll post their name in the picture off of their Facebook profile on the group. So, um, you know, anybody that's a ripoff is going to get really publicly announced. Um, I have never been ripped off on that group. Um, actually, I've never really been ripped off. But, yeah, that group is just really really good um and they have a list of you know safe people to buy from and they you know they tell you look you need to use paypal and how to do that and um you know paypal if somebody rips you off paypal's not real happy about that either they will uh you know, if someone makes a habit of that and they get too many complaints about them, PayPal will drop them. So, but 
ripping people off might get you a a dollar or two but it sure isn't gonna last very long because between the you know Facebook groups and PayPal itself you're gonna be out of business but yeah I'm really excited about um the boxy charm the new palette coming out do I need well, the yellow I don't think I have I have a yellow in one of my well in two of my palettes but it's not very um pigmented you know like you really have to build it and I would like a yellow that you know one or two brush and and I have a feeling that Laura Lee is going to have that kind of a palette um I hope so anyways and it looks like there's a really nice orange and a really nice it's either a red or a pink in there and then like maybe a teal and a blue or a green and a blue and a purple which those three you know whatever I wouldn't buy it because I wouldn't use those three colors uh, at this time but since it's coming in the boxy charm I'm totally excited about it <sighs> I, need, I need to find some more lipstick um, Urban Decay the beach oh what is this one it is heat wave um what oh and a smashbox lippy I mean that's all we know we don't know I have a smashbox uh triple threat lippy that I like, I just, I like this one right now because it's metallic and it's, you know, the time of year, but, um, I have a, a triple thread, it's got like three different colors in it, that, that thing lasts all day, I mean, really, it's, I like Smashbox, the solids, I've never had a liquid or, they also have like the little, um, like lipstick palette, which I think is kind of weird, because, I don't know, to me, lipstick, you need to kind of carry with you, and at least if you have a liquid or, you know, a bullet, you can stick it in your pocket, you know, for me while I'm at work. Um, a palette, I don't know, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me to have a lipstick palette, because it's, unless you're going out, and you're going to put in your pocketbook and you're going to be able to hit the bathroom every, you know, 30 minutes and put on more. Um, I just, I don't see the, the whole point of it. My drink of the day because I need energy. Dollar store, two dollars, yay. Salted caramel. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, um... And then the other thing, there's um, one of three things is going to be either lashes, a Tarte product that I can't remember what it was, or uh, Becca primer. And I am so praying for the Becca primer. I really would like to try out more Becca products, but they're so expensive. And primers, do I need more primers? Mm, no. But do I want more primers? Yes. Um, if it's Becca, yes, I would be, I would love to have a Becca primer. Um, lashes, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really do the lashes. I've tried to get them on and not been successful. And since I don't really go out, the only thing I ever do is go to work, which is outside, and work at the farm, which is outside. You know, I just... I don't see the point of, for me personally, doing the the fake lashes. Um, although I think it would be very cool, but you know, and maybe someday I'll do it just for the just for the halibut. <laughs> but, but um, 
yeah, so really looking forward to that. Um, next week, I think I might do the reviews on Ipsy. <gasps> yeah, I'm going to get Ipsy again this month. I haven't found anything that I really would rather spend 10 or $15 on than Ipsy. I just, you know, I wouldn't even mind like some hair care. Um, as you can tell, my hair is like, it's a wild thing that wants to do its own thing most of the time. When I let it down, it kind of frizzes out like a poodle. Because I dyed it like two years ago, you know, and it still thinks it needs to do that. But, um, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, I, Perfumes, no. Like candles and things, no. I, I really, I want makeup, skincare, maybe a little bit of hair care. Um, don't really want nail polish or nail products. I've got so much of that kind of stuff. It's ridiculous. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stay with Ipsy till I find something that I want to try. Um, but right now, Ipsy is kind of it, so... And boxy, I don't think I'll I'll be 80 years old and I'll still be getting boxy. I just I like I like my boxy. <laughs> boxy charm. Ah, <laughs> he's a glam goat, and glam goat is saying thank you for subscribing to our channel. Um, you know I try to have some discussion and I try to get back to everybody. It's really hard. I'm having a difficult time with uh data signal right now so it's hard for me to upload and then it's hard for me to get back and answer your comments a lot of times I can read them and I just can't I still don't have enough signal to actually answer them so you know please keep making comments I am getting them and um, you know other subscribers see your comments too so that's cool uh, you know, I'm going to keep on keeping on, and, you know, this weather's got to clear up eventually, and then I'll be able to upload more. Hopefully, I'll get all three of them up this week. Last week, it took me almost two days to put up one, so, yeah, okay, that, that's how that went. Um, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you're not a subscriber, as I was going to say, I... I try to find things that work that are either, you know not very expensive or if they are expensive that they work you know because let's face it there's a lot of things that just because something costs a lot of money does not necessarily mean that it works any better than anything else so you know we we try to find that and you know do some different looks and some different ideas and just have some makeup fun you know so glam good <laughs> Glammy's going to say his thing. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Alright, Glammy. Isn't cute. He's 